Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again. In today's video, we are going to be tackling the Game Boy Advance SP repair. Now, this one was sent into my PO box by Roman. Big thank you to Roman. Um, quick disclaimer on the PO box. Um, I can't obviously fix stuff and send it back because if that was the case, it'd be some sort of a free repair service. And I, as much as I'd love to do that for all of you, I just don't have the time. So if you do send anything into the PO box, um, unless agreed prior for whatever reason, um, it's gonna be kept. So <laughs> thank you to Roman for sending this to me. He did send this to me, um, obviously with the intent for me to keep it and fix it. Um, as did he send me an awesome blue Game Gear, which I have recently repaired. This is the um, Game Boy Advance SP that he sent me here. Um, and the problem it has is it turns on, uh, but there's no image on the screen. Um, if I adjust the brightness, you might be able to see it sort of turning on and off down there in the corner, um, but nothing actually happens on the screen. It's also, um, the paint is also sort of worn off as you can uh, see there. So that is another thing that I'm gonna be tackling. I'll be spray painting this, um, presuming we can actually fix the problem. Um, so yeah, I guess the first thing for us to do is take it apart and see what's going on. If it's the screen um, or if it's the board, if it's a ribbon cable problem, um, yeah, let's go ahead and have a look. Right, so I have released the motherboard uh, by taking the three screws off the back. Um, I've taken all of the parts out and left them in a neat order. Um, leaving your screws separate helps you when putting things back together. Um, and also it means you won't put the wrong screw in the wrong place. Um, even if they look like the same screw, you might put one that's slightly longer in. Um, and especially on the SP, you might put it through and it'll poke a little hole through the top or something. So don't be doing that. Um, so the first thing I've noticed, if I just uh, lift off this motherboard here and show you, hopefully you're gonna be able to see this, um, the ribbon cable, can you see that, isn't fully in properly. Um, so I'm gonna just release the latch on the ribbon cable um, and just take the motherboard out. Because we need to paint this thing anyway, um, I do need to take it further apart, um, but I would like to test it when it's in its separate components to not have to faff around with this uh, ribbon cable in a you know tight position. So let's get this uh, back off. Uh, very, very simple. Um, first thing to do is remove that little screw there. A lot of people ask me about um, Game Boy Advance SP stuff, so I thought I'd make this really clear. Um, you remove that screw, which is under the ribbon cable. You might not see it otherwise. Um, and then this little piece here comes out, and then as do all of the buttons. Um, make sure you don't lose those buttons, obviously. Uh, the speaker also comes out. You can just lift that off like so. And then after that, we can lift up the screen and you're gonna to need to get a small little uh, screwdriver. Um, I recommend using a the smallest flat bit screwdriver you can possibly find. Um, and I think Roman said he bought a new screen for this to try and test if it worked. Um, and you can see there that he's sort of damaged uh, these little rubber screw protectors. You can get replacement ones of these very, very easily. Um, I don't have any at the moment, so I'm gonna to have to be reusing these. So just remove them uh, carefully and set them to the side. And then underneath there, you'll see some tri-wing screws. So uh, let's get all of those off and undo the top. Once you've undone those screws, uh, next thing to do, I just close the, uh, the SP. Um, make sure you're holding this piece on the back here because it is going to fall off. Um, if not, and obviously that is the next step, uh, we're going to remove this. And oh my God, what is that? What on earth is that? I have never, ever, ever seen that in my life. I thought there was something that looked weird about this screen. I think this is a Game Boy Advance screen that's had a front light mod done to it. Uh, but let's just check that by putting it back in. Um, and we can actually you know, put the ribbon cable in properly and make sure that it's seated properly. Um, he did say that he bought an aftermarket um, or a replacement screen. So maybe this is just what the aftermarket screens look like. Um, I've never seen an aftermarket um, SP screen. So if we just pop the battery in there like that and then turn it on. Yeah, okay, there we go. So that does actually work. 
So the whole time it was just the um, the ribbon cable not going in there properly um, and not being in. So, um, okay. I have never seen a screen that looks like that before in my life. I presume that is what an aftermarket one looks like. Um, or maybe it's a dismantled screen or, or something. Um, I actually have a official replacement AGS-101 screen, which I should probably use, um, except I don't have that with me right now. So at least we know that this does work um, and the Game Boy isn't faulty. So I'll use this um, for, for the video, but I will actually swap that out with an official one. For now, what we're gonna do is sand down the top of this and paint it, put it back together, and it should be all nice. And that sounds uh, like it's gonna be a quick, easy process. It will be quick and easy for you guys to watch, but I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Um, I'm no expert on painting. Some people kick off at me for the painting stuff. Um, I mean, it looks really, really bad as it is right now. Um, so I'm gonna paint it, and I hope you guys enjoy. Well, there we go. I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, I'm really glad that uh, I was able to get it actually working. Um, I also really enjoy spray painting stuff, so it's been super fun for me. Um, I spray painted it a matte black. Um, obviously, most of the Game Boys you get, they're sort of more of a glossy, sort of satiny type thing. Um, but this one is a matte black, so it's very nice, sort of reminiscent of the IBM ThinkPads. And uh, yeah, it's come out looking absolutely gorgeous. I said I'm no spray painting expert, but I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out. I do need to get a sticker for the, uh, for the bottom. Um, and as I said, I'm gonna replace the screen with the regular one that I need. Um, also, I need to change these for the black ones. Um, and you can get replacement buttons on eBay as well. So potentially I could get like, um, I don't know, some red ones or some blue buttons or something like that. And uh, yeah, it looks amazing. Um, one thing we need to do is actually test whether or not games play in it. This is a Nintendo pouch from the official magazine. Uh, so this is my favorite Game Boy Advance game um, ever made. It's called Kuru Kuru Kurin, and uh, it's absolutely brilliant. So I'm gonna show you this right now, presuming this thing actually bloody works. We didn't even test it. Um, so here we go, turn it over and testing. Right, so it's red that there's a game in there. Hooray, okay. 
And as we all know, the Game Boy Advance um, 001 is immensely difficult to see the screen in. So hopefully you can see a little bit of that there. So the premise of this game is there is a little spinning sort of object, which I believe is actually meant to be some sort of a spaceship. And it's really hard for me to do this through the viewfinder, but you have to sort of get it through these objects and get it through the levels. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun game, quite easy. Um, everything works. I'm super, super happy uh, with how this has turned out. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Um, it lets me know that you have enjoyed it or leave a comment or subscribe if you're new. Um, if you like the t-shirt that I wore in this video, um, it was done by a, a local artist friend of mine. Um, I've had this design in the back for ages. I've had these t-shirts for ages. I've had these hats for ages. Uh, so if you haven't heard about them yet, then check out the link in the top of the description. And uh, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.